7 o'clock in the morning. It's a bit chilly. And we're just about ready to go. And there they are. Are we ready for the party or what? Yeah. Who made this wonderful cake here? My name is Nielsen Paulus, and I was raised in Roseville, California. Most of my motivation comes from my family. Go, go! 1720, he's headed out to the run. My parents, they were both really passionate about triathlon and athletics, so it was just kind of natural that they had my sister and I both pursuing swimming, biking, running from as young as I can remember. Sports has meant everything to me. It helped me lead a healthy lifestyle to begin with, and then it led me to my wife. From there, I have two amazing kids that I'm so proud of, and we have such a great relationship. My name is Jack McNeil Paulus, and I'm from Alton, Indiana. Nielsen's uh, named after me, my middle name, um, Neil's son. My dad is... Uh, full-blooded uh, Oneida. I'd spend the summers with him uh, on the reservation and participated in powwowing and just a real, uh, real tight family relationship on the Oneida reservation. I started doing triathlon when I was stationed in Guam and uh, heard about this woman that was just an amazing athlete. We met during a race, started talking and started training together. And uh, finally, uh, Finally, I came ahead of her at some point. <laughs> well, running. I had a leg up in the running aspect, but not so much on the cycling side. He dominated that. My name is Jeanette Allred Paulus. I'm from Carmichael, California. I started sport very young. The youngest of six kids, my dad was the assistant coach for our running team. Went on scholarship to Cal State Northridge and went on from there, ended up in Guam. I didn't have a lot of opportunities as a child. It's because we were rural. We lived in the country. We were um, pretty poor. I wanted to make sure that my kids had the opportunities that I didn't. What did you think of it, Nielsen? I retired from the military. And my main work, which really wasn't work, was being Mr. Mom. So who was just spending time with my kids and taking them out and doing things with them, which for me, because I was a triathlete, was swimming, biking, and running, and just kept making it fun for them. Family that plays together stays together. Oh, who do we have over here? Hello, gang. I didn't know my dad until I was uh, about 10 years old. But then after I met my dad, then we started to develop a strong relationship that grew over the years. But I think all that stuff kind of, it, for me personally, lended to my wanting to be there for my kids. Um, just had this over, overwhelming uh, need to, to give to my kids and to be there for them. I think probably the most difficult part about it was not doing too much, but making sure that, that, that they knew that I loved them and that I wanted the best for them. Both my mom and dad were sort of tag teaming, coaching my sister and I until we were probably 16 or 17 or something like that. Good job, Nielsen! <laughs> I'd say these days uh, my biggest support is, is Frances, my wife. Frances is definitely the person I lean on the most when times are like pretty tough. She left a job in Sacramento so that we could have our lives together in Europe. For me, dance has always been an outlet. 
that's comforting and it's something that makes me feel like myself and makes me feel more in touch with how I'm feeling. I took baby ballet class when I was three or four. I just fell in love with dancing and every year I would move up to the next level and add another day to the week until in high school and middle school I was dancing six days a week after school. When I was in seventh or eighth grade, that was when I found out that you could become a professional dancer and make this into a career. Ever since that discovery, I knew that's what I wanted to be, and I was pretty determined. Nielsen and I met online. I was living in Sacramento, dancing with the ballet here, and he was home for the off season, training up in Roseville. I think part of why we really knew we were with the right person really quickly was that we understood each other's jobs. And I knew nothing about cycling and he didn't really know anything about ballet, but we went from high school straight into this profession and sacrificed a lot of kind of normal life experiences to do so. I think we immediately understood each other in that way. And, you know, we both used to always get asked like, what is your real job? <laughs> Our worlds kind of merged together just in terms of her being able to understand like the crazy sport that I'm doing without any knowledge going into it. <laughs> the sacrifices we've made to commit to each other have, have taken a lot out of both of our jobs. But I would say, for me, it's been leaving my job here in Sacramento and, and my you know comfortable community of friends that I made over six years and starting a new life with Nielsen in Europe and in this sport that I knew nothing about. So, you know, sometimes I find myself feeling bad for myself and how no one else has to be in this situation and you can fall into this, this trap for a year and a half, I was kind of just wondering, like, who am I in this foreign country if I'm not what I'm trained to be? Um, and what can I, you know, contribute to this society? And, you know, am I defined by Nielsen's career now and how well he's doing? But I think it also makes us realize, like, we'll be with this person much longer than we would ever be doing this job. And so when I was kind of transitioning and realizing that maybe I wasn't going to be a professional dancer um, anymore, I definitely had a hard time. And so Nielsen was always like, this is going to be me in 12 years. In cycling, I think from a pretty young age, I was always straight off the bat pretty competitive and could win at least the age categories that I was in. It seemed like cycling came easier to my sister than the other sports as well. I definitely saw her as a role model. She went to Europe two years before I ever went to Europe to race. She just coming back and her telling us stories about it and how much fun she had. She definitely was one of the bigger inspirations that I had to, to really go after cycling. We just think it's awesome that our kids are so much better than we ever were. It's just fun to watch them. We do believe that children pick their parents before they come here. I remember the year before Nielsen started kindergarten, he goes, Daddy, you know, when I was up in heaven before I came to be with you and mommy, 
He said, there was a competition. He goes, and I won, and I got to come to be with you guys. Ugh. From a, like a four-year-old kid, Ugh. man. Yeah. I couldn't believe, it just totally blew me away. I'll never forget that moment. Family is my tribe. Uh, they are your, your inner circle. And they're the people that will be with you there forever, even after you leave this world. At the end of the day, like, your family is what matters. It's the people who we're gonna know forever. And it's the people who will love you, no matter what, what you do. This year, kind of resetting the season with the excitement of knowing that we were gonna have a baby, that just kind of gave me the peace to know that we're working towards the next step in our lives. That's always been my other biggest dream as being a mom. We found out a couple weeks before my first race this season, and basically from the first races I competed in, I was just like, had so much motivation in every race I went to. I think our hopes and dreams are definitely being a little bit more connected, and we're definitely looking forward to maybe having a little bit more reason to be more stable and in one place. Raising a kid, I'm sure, is going to be the best thing that I'll ever do in my life. Nobody could be more proud of their children than we are because of the who they become as a complete person. Their athletics is just a small part of who they are. They are just such good human beings that uh, makes me so proud to be their father. And that they chose us to be their parents. Yeah. yeah. Success to me would be finishing my career confident that I'll be able to go into a normal life seamlessly. As long as I can be a good husband, be a good father in these next few years, and while I'm a professional, I feel like that's gonna make me feel really, really proud of the athlete that I could be. Hey Nielsen, it's Jaina. Just wanted to wish you the best of luck in the upcoming Tour de France this year. Uh, I know you're gonna absolutely crush it, and I can't wait to see what you accomplish. Well, we'll know the tribe of Indians in Wisconsin will be there um, with you in spirit, son. Let's go pink. Stay safe, have fun, we'll be rooting for you at home. Love you.